What's going on guys? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about a possible iOS 10.2 jailbreak untethered and we're going to talk about this tweet that was posted a couple of hours ago by this guy Lang Shai in here and he says quote by the way my untethered tool for iOS 10.x is almost ready turn your semi-tethered yellow into fully untethered with one tap end quote. Now I have been getting links on this post on my comment section a lot in the uh, in the past hours so I decided to get into it and I decided to see what's going on. Apparently from the screenshots it looks like a modified version of Yalu 102. That wouldn't even be something bad because the, uh, the Yalu 102 is actually a source code available and you can probably uh, modify it the way you want, as I did with the yellow dark, so that wouldn't be a problem. And uh, according to this guy in here, that I don't fully trust for the moment, uh, the uh, untether will probably be a Cydia package that you're going to install and you're going to get the untethered variant of the jailbreak. Now, I'm a bit skeptical about this thing, I do not say it's going to be fake, I do not say it's going to be real, for the moment we do not have enough information, but if it's that easy, why didn't Luca Tedesco actually implement a uh, an untether already for his chill break? But anyways, if this guy really is uh, actually uh, doing an untether for this chill break, that wouldn't be a surprise if it comes as a CDA pack, because if you remember, Pango used to do the same thing. These are some of the packs you can install from CDA. Well, when, you, when you're jailbreaking with, with the uh, Pango, they get installed automatically, but you can find them at the installed packages on CDA. And it's called Pango 9.0 to 9.1 Untether, and it's basically just a single file that... Um, uh, that results and then you have the 8.1 uh, sorry the 8.0 to 8.1 and tether and there is also one for the 7.x jailbreak so um, all of them were installed from Cydia so that would make this a little bit more close to the reality now this guy in here doesn't have a, a very big or very strong jailbreak uh, activity background so I cannot really say what is going on for the moment I do not know whether he has been working on jailbreaks or not uh, in the past. His first post in here was um, August 6th and it was something about the Apple bug bounty program. Pretty interesting, at least it's not an account made two hours ago. That is something at least comforting. But he says that one of the bugs used in this untether are present in iOS 10.3. Going for some experience now, end quote. Well, this is pretty much where I think it starts to look interesting and I'm going to keep this guy under some observation because if this really is an untether, then that would be interesting. It's the first time I, uh, I hear about this guy, so I'm not going to give him a lot of credit for the moment and you shouldn't get very pumped up for the moment for this, but he also said in here the untether supports iPhone 7 plus Mac Portal. That's going to be pretty interesting because the uh, untether would require a jailbreak to be actually stable to, to have the substrate running and the Mac Portal plus iPhone 7 Yalu uh, is not including the, uh, the substrate enable, enabled due to some, I don't know, issues on the, uh, the jailbreak that Look at the Desco didn't fix for the moment because you probably know Look at the Desco said he is going to complete the um, iPhone 7 Mac Portal jailbreak but it's not his top priority for the moment. I do not know as I said what is the background activity of this guy. Uh, he doesn't seem to like Twitter very much from uh, his post so I cannot really tell you whether he's fake or not. We're, we're going to keep him under observation as you probably already understood from the Brando thing that we're going to keep him under observation, we're going to analyze every move he, he makes and if he really makes a uh, an untether for the iOS 10.x that is going to be pretty interesting. Now for some of you who do not know what an untether does or what an untether is, it's actually, let me explain, the, um, the jailbreak, the Yaldo jailbreak that you install requires you to reapply it ev at every reboot and that's a semi-tethered jailbreak. 
a completely tethered jailbreak requires the uh, device to be booted using the computer. You have applications like Red Snow that are able to boot the uh, devices, the older devices. And there were a lot of uh, tethered jailbreaks in the past. But an untethered jailbreak is, for example, the Pangu for 9.1. Uh, or 9.0. That Pangu jailbreak once applied, or of course the 8.x version, once applied it is jailbroken and is jailbroken no matter what you do. No matter if you restore, no matter if you respring, it simply is jailbroken forever. So um, that would mean to have an untethered jailbreak. You do not need to reapply the jailbreak once in a while, which is pretty interesting. So I'm going to keep you updated on anything this guy does. Hopefully it's not another fake like Brando guy. But anyways, as I said, I wanted to, um, to inform you about this thing, because some of you have been sending me the, the uh, links to that post, and I decided to analyze it and come back to you with the, um, with the report. So, till the next time, subscribe to stay updated on whatever happens with this uh, untether thing, and uh, till the next time, I'm Geosnow, peace out.